Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. This is my 1999 GMC 2500. Um, it's remarkable how low this thing is compared to like a modern truck. But uh, anyway, this thing's getting a new rear axle. I'm kind of, I'm still here, I'm still working. I'm slowing down on doing any major purchases. Uh, you know, the world's a little bit topsy-turvy, so I don't know where things are going to go. But they don't seem to be trending in a positive direction for me, personally, right now. Um, but I need this truck, so it is a necessary expense. So I'm going to continue. I'm cutting the axles off. This is a newer model, GMT 800, 800 14-bolt uh, AAM 10.5. There will be a whole video on that. Um, but I just want to show you guys real quick how to measure pinion angle. Um, it's pretty simple. It's a thing that people overcomplicate. I like to check this for fun on any axle that I do. So what I've done is I got my axle set up here and I got it propped up so that my perch is at zero. Um, and you can get one of these magnetic angle finders for a few bucks. Um, once you have it at zero, you can check off the pinion snout. It looks like this one's like eight degrees down, which is kind of wild. And maybe that's what they were. You can measure it off the pinion too. You have to be careful that you make sure. You see that you can turn it quite a bit and it doesn't really affect the angle so much. Um, just for anybody that's like, you don't know if that was level. Well, it doesn't. First of all, I can know if it's level, I guess. I care. Um, there we go. And secondly, it doesn't affect it that much. So, so this one's about eight degrees down and I'm pretty sure the truck's probably six degrees down. Uh, whenever I get, whenever I get my brackets from Rust Stuff, who said five to 10 business days and it's now been like 24 business days. So I'm a little irritated, but it is what it is. And I finish grinding this stuff off. I'll pull the stock axle out. This has a 1410 U-joint and my truck has 1350, so I'll have to get a conversion U-joint. Um, but otherwise, I got a little kit from Rust Stuff for like 120 bucks that comes with shock mounts and uh, an axle bolt flip kit and everything else you need. So it's kind of nice, wasn't really worth. I thought it wasn't worth cleaning off my plasma table and, and doing up, but I guess I'm in no real rush. But anyway, uh, today's video is a pretty quick one. It's how you measure your pinion angle, real simple. For a truck like Daryl, or a car, a high horsepower thing, I generally set the pinion down depending on how much horsepower you have. So something like 500 horsepower, Daryl's like six, five or six degrees down, I don't remember. I'll, j I'll set it down because under launch it'll wrap up. All that equal and opposite angles bullshit, like you don't have to worry about that in normal applications, but Generally, I just match whatever I took out. What, whatever's in that truck right now is what I'm going to set it to, and off I go. So, hope that helps. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.